Hey everyone, welcome to Princess Gay. I'm your host, Connie, and today we are here with episode 7 of The Legend of Vox Machina. Uh, so I've actually been putting this off for a couple days, and I don't entirely know why. Uh, I, I was meaning to get to this, like, yesterday, amongst the other stuff I was recording, and, and I think even back on Wednesday as well. Um, but I've just been putting it off. I was going to do it on Wednesday along with uh, the Jingai-san no Yome reaction uh, and the movie I recorded on that day. And then I was going to do it yesterday along with the Rare Americans music video and the Total Drama reaction. But I just kept putting it off and it's it's honestly been bothering me a little bit because I, I don't know why because I've been really enjoying this series. I, I, think, it, I think the break kind of, we like, weirded me out with that or something, or maybe it was because of seeing the D&D movie at the beginning of the week. It's just been... It's been hard to find the motivation to get to this, weirdly enough. Um, and I don't... Again, I don't even know why. Because I've been really enjoying this arc of the, uh, of the season. Uh, last time we had... Uh, them freeing the rebels and um, Percy got to kill one of the people on his list. There is a lot of great action, some really interesting stuff added in with uh, with the giant zombie creatures and everything. Um, yeah, it's just I, I don't know why I've been putting it off. I, I can't explain that, but Either way, we're getting to it now, so there you go. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get back in the groove of things. Um, there's a couple things that we haven't gotten to this week. Otherwise, um, that's just going to happen. So, yeah, um, we're still getting kind of back on track. We didn't even do a stream this week. Like, I didn't even notice that until this morning that we never streamed yesterday. Um, instead, I... I just kind of ended up doing that uh, kind of impromptu uh, Hunter Hunter Smash or Pass video. I, I never, I, I just didn't think about it. I, I think the week off, while it did help me refresh, and obviously I had fun playing Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, I think it also kind of messed me up a little bit. Uh, it just, it, I, I feel like maybe what it was is that I didn't actually need the refreshing break at the time. And because of taking that break, it actually threw off my momentum and threw off my groove. And so I just, my mind's been a little frazzled because of it. And trying to get back into the swing of things has been a little more difficult than it should. Because it, it completely threw off, again, my entire momentum and groove with... Uh, with how I had been going prior. But, I mean, that's just speculation at this point. That's really all I can even do in the first place regarding why this is happening. Um, but it's also only happening with this show. Like, I've had no issue getting to Total Drama and Moon Girl. Mind you, those just started on the channel. Um... <sighs> Well, Moon Girl, we had the first impressions before, but it just started as a full series in the slot this week. But yeah, and then we have, like, other stuff we just haven't gotten to, just I didn't have the time with the other stuff I wanted to get done this week. Like, uh, we, we're going to be getting back to Fire Force again, and then One Piece, uh, we're going to probably get to the next uh, grouping of episodes next week, I would wager. Um, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> so sorry for the wait for certain things, just how it goes sometimes. Uh, you guys know that with the way the formatted, the schedule format is on this channel currently. If I don't get to something, uh, in some weeks, then I just don't. It's, there's no set days or times or whatnot for getting these up anymore. At least not for the time being. It's just whenever I feel like recording them, whenever I feel like uploading them. Whatever I'm feeling like at whatever time. Either way, either way. 
Uh, we're going to get into this and hope for the best. We're going to see where this, uh, where this episode leads us. Hopefully we get some more good comedy, some more good character moments, and obviously the good action and blood and gore and all that shit. Um... I'm just waiting for something to happen, you know? Like, something really big. Because right now we're still kind of setting up. We've arrived in the town, a lot of setup for what's to come. Are we going to have another confrontation with uh, with the Lord and Lady? Or are we going to save that for the end? Like, what's going to happen next? We, we've got some new allies, but now what? I don't know. It's just hard to tell because we've still got like half a season to get through. So, either way, let us get this going and see where this episode takes us. So, when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black, then it fades back in. Everything for that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. So, with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. So there's two things here. Either there's going to be some way to save her, or that's not actually her. And this is just a trick to try and fuck with Percy or whatever. It's 100% one of those two options. Because I don't think she's going to actually die. I, I don't think they would reintroduce her just for that to happen. I, I, I really doubt that. But, I mean, I might be wrong. Because um, in the actual, like, game when they were playing through this all, and all, maybe, like, that was based on the role. And he got the role wrong and... Wasn't able to convince Sanders and everything. I, that's possible, right? Um, but I guess we'll see. If if she just dies here, though, that would be... It would honestly kind of suck. <laughs> it, it, would, it, it would be... Again, I know this is based off of the campaign and everything, but in terms of how this is set up as a series... That would really, really suck. Bec and I'm not just saying like, oh, it would suck as in I'd be upset. I would be, but it would also just kind of be bad writing. Again, again, if it's based on the it's based on the campaign and everything, I, I get that. I, I understand that it, it, they don't want to necessarily change big moments like this. I, I I'm sure. But that's how it would come across to to the to the context of the series. Within the context of just this as a animated series, that would be such a poor decision to reintroduce her and then kill her off in the next episode. To reveal she's alive and then she's just dead again. It's like, yes, that would work within the context of a, D a game of D&D. But within the context of an animated series, that would feel extremely poorly handled. And so I'm hoping that if she did die, like, in the campaign, that they change something, or, or something's different, or, or if she didn't die in the campaign, I'm interested to see, like, what happens. Because she got her throat slit. Like, just straight up. It, it's just, I, I'm just curious. I, I have no idea where this is going at this point. But, I mean, to some degree, that is a good thing. That is, it, it's definitely got me invested. Uh, most of this episode, though, centered around Scanlan. Uh, Scanlan went to cause a distraction so they could get in and everything. And he had trouble with it, and was, but it was ending up working. You know, like the chaos was being caused, the, the building was being set on fire, like was planned. Um, it's just on his end, he was going through some shit and seeing some shit, quite literally. 
Um, so he, he had to deal with a lot, but he eventually did get the upper hand. He did escape after doing a crotch shot, uh, crotch blasting the dude away and everything, which was really funny. Um, and, and so he, he got out, he escaped, but the others got in, uh, came up to a trap and, you know, took care of things while Percy was able to chase down Anders and lead to what I was just talking about. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a pretty straightforward episode. I like Scanlan trying out all the different potions and seeing what they do. Not really any of them working exactly for him, so instead he has to end up using the scroll to once again turn him into different animals. This time he tries singing it and becomes a Triceratops, because that equates. <laughs> Um, but it works out for him, and he's able to get to the roof to have a one-on-one -on -one final fight with the dude, and, yeah, it, it's like, he's a bard, he's not like this fighter or anything, he's not going to be super strong or super skillful in that kind of thing, so it makes sense that he's getting his ass kicked, plus, he is little. He, he very much is little. And this dude is, like, giant, even for, like, regular standards. So, it's kind of an unfair fight in terms of physicality. But, as Scanlan points out, it's not about the size. It's how you use it. And he proves that even though he's little, and even though he gets, honestly, the shit kicked out of him, he is still able to win the fight. And we see the explosion, and we can assume that dude is dead. So, I'm... I'm curious as to where this is all going to lead. Like, how quickly are we going to get back to uh, the Briarwoods? How quickly are we going to see more fights with them? Or, like, where is this exactly going to lead us in, in terms of the direct future? Um, I guess we'll find out. I, I guess as we continue to watch, we'll just see where this continues to go. Uh, oh, we also did find out how Percy built the gun in this episode and exactly what led to all of that. But he still has refused to talk about all the smoke and everything, the uh, plague mask, there's still a lot he's refusing to reveal, which does mean he is going back on his word for no more secrets and all. Um, so that's not good, and I think he really does need to come clean. I agree with Vax. He's out of line lately. But Vex is even more out of line. Uh, honestly, right now, Vex is my least favorite of the crew. She's honestly being a miserable little pissant. The way she went after Keyleth there, for a simple mistake of, of Keyleth just trying to help and everything, like, actually pissed me the fuck off. Because she went after her right away. And we, we've seen that she's been having some issues with, her brother getting cozy with Keyleth. We she's been having some jealousy issues. Not not because she has those kind of feelings for her brother, thankfully. Um, but more along the lines of she her brother is all she has. So she feels like if if she loses that if he starts spending more time with Keyleth he'll abandon her and she'll be alone and she doesn't want that it's clear what th what that's going for but still the way she's handling this the the thing she's doing in, in response pisses me the fuck off I even if this is your concern you don't fucking take it out on keyleth you do not do that you don't attack her and go after her for something like this. If you want to go after Vax, okay, fine. He can handle that. 
it's like just fucking be honest and open it's I, it's ironic that she, she's like reminding percy it's like about the no secrets thing and she's not even being honest about her own issues and, and that's causing problems within the group i mean so is percy percy's issues but still uh, they both are she needs to get her self-important head out of her self-important ass and just realize that her brother is allowed to have his own life and allowed to like whoever the fuck he wants to like. If he has a thing for Keyleth, she should be supporting them. Not vindictively trying to sabotage it by being an absolute cunt burger to Keyleth. And I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, I'm really pissy at her right now. I'm not okay with this, with the way she's treating her. I'm not going to rant about this forever, though. Because it's, it's going to make me really upset. And I'm just, I'm not going to be in a good place if that happens. So... For the time being, just know that I'm very anti-vex at the moment. And I just really, really want her to shut the fuck up and stop bullying Keyleth. Um... So, in the meantime, tell me in the comments below, what did you think of this episode of Legend of Vox Machina? And for now, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.